Okay, so here we have the new Alligator Resonator guitar from the Gretz Roots series. This is uh, the new top of the range for the series wood body. We already have the box car and the bobtail, which both have spider bridges, and the main upgrade on this guitar is it has the biscuit bridge right there. It's a more desirable kind of bridge to have for a Resonator guitar, gives a fuller tone. Uh, it still has that that's a brushed aluminium on there. And if I bring the headstock right here, it's got you can see it's got the extra detailing on the headstock with that pinstriping around the edge. It's also really light for a resonator guitar. Great sounding guitar, great value. Uh, staying on the resonator theme, we have this is the, the, the ukulele for the ukulele player who has everything. This is a resonator ukulele, again with the biscuit bridge, so it's not just a gimmick, this is a proper resonator instrument. Um, gives, a guitar, gives a ukulele a slightly louder, a bit more twangy top end tone, as you'd expect from a resonator. And again, really good value, great instrument, great fun. Uh, next up. This is a camp uke. This is a reproduction of an original 1940s uh, Gretsch ukulele. Um, as part of the Roots, the Roots series is really uh, all about the fact that Gretsch did all this kind of stuff long before they did electric guitars and this really reminds you of that. This is the, the originals were from the 20s, 30s, 40s are really collectible on the vintage market and this is a reproduction of one of them and just reminds, reminds you that Gretsch has been going a lot longer than you think it has. So great fun little little thing. 130 years, all in. Uh, what have we got next? This one here. Ooh. This is a guitar ukulele. So it's a six-string ukulele. It's strung with the same intervals as a guitar, but it's strung A to A, as if you had your capo on the fifth fret of your guitar. It's got the nylon strings, so it still sounds like a uke, but you can play it with your normal chord shapes. It means you don't have to learn a whole new instrument. But on top of that, you could use it as a travel guitar, comes with a gig bag, um, or you could use it as an overdubbing guitar, just to give it a little bit of extra different tonality on your recordings. And again, got the slotted headstock, a nice semi-satin finish. Really cool little, uh, cool little thing. Again, the gift of the guitar player is that it has everything. Stick this in the back of the car, stick it in your suitcase, you can put it anywhere you want. Okay. And one more. Ooh, if I can get that in. We've got this Jim Dandy guitar. It's a flat top acoustic. This is really great value for money. This is, uh, this is, you'll see these in your VW camper vans, you'll see these on the beach, you'll see these in the games room, you'll see these on uh, front men of Americana bands, rockabilly bands, everyone should be playing these things. Um, we've got a brown sunburst on there, you've got the pick guard with the G, the Gretsch G. Uh, it's a short scale, 24 inch scale, so it's really nice and easy to play. And uh, it's based on an original, again, original 40s uh, guitar, parlor guitar that Gretsch did back then. Um, and this is going to be available also in limited edition runs. Coming in the coming months, we'll do different colors and uh, all, all the kind of burst colors. And a great fun guitar. Again, something all guitar players should own. Sitting in the living room, play it while they're watching TV. You know, really fun instrument. And that's it, that's all the new roots stuff.